जय श्री माता जी ऑनलाइन उपस्थित सभी साधकों का हम स्वागत करते हैं सर्वप्रथम सामूहिकता में कुंडलिनी चढ़ाकर बंधन लेंगे तीन महामंत्र और श्री गणेश मंत्र का उच्चारण करेंगे माता जी कृपावंत होकर हमें संतुलन अवस्था प्रदान कीजिए माता जी कृपावंत होकर हमें निर्विचार अवस्था प्रदान कीजिए Thank mm-hmm. you. 
ऐसी अवस्था में हम परम पूज्य श्री माता जी की अमृतवाणी को ग्रहण करेंगे इट्स वेरी ग्रेटिफाइंग टू सी सो मेनी ऑफ यू अमेरिकन हैव गैदर टूडे एंड टूमोरो यू वॉन्ट टू हैव द विष्णु माया पूजा I remember the days when I used to talk to chairs only. <laughs> But all these years, after working so very hard, visiting this country so many times, still we have very very few sahajogis. compared to any other nation in this country of shri krishna is inevitable that people will put their attention to money because he is the incarnation of vishnu and his power is lakshmi lakshmi is the goddess of money but that is not the money that is called as dollar it is the money which means a complete integrated form of material wealth as it is matter has only one power that it can express our love to others like if you have to express your love to someone you would make a nice present or something that is useful for the person or you may give your property wealth to your children in a very symbolic manner you might even give a small little store if you are a child to your mother which you find interesting that would me make your mother happy but all the time the <clears throat> idea behind giving matter to someone is to show your love and emotions to show your concern and express your heart so to express your heart through something gross we use matter now when this matter is converted into something and it becomes sort of an economic activity where you have to price it then the attention shifts from emotions to matter as something that has some superficial value 
than the deeper value that is love. Even in the olden days, when people had lots of money with them, they used to decorate their houses, wear good dresses, to invite people into their homes to make them happy, to make them comfortable. A rich man would have a fair or something like that to make people happy. But gradually again the attention shifted from that to something which is extremely gross, is to show off. But the purpose fails completely when you try to show off, another person is never happy. On the contrary, he is jealous. So what is the use of showing off? Because the purpose is to make another person happy. Instead of that, you make him jealous. Then second step comes in with it, that you create a antagonistic feelings in another person. That person thinks that, why should he have and why should I not? Because that person cannot enjoy what you have. Thus, there are theories and theories that came out in our political systems, into our economic systems, how to exaggerate it and how to utilize it for something even grosser. And this grossness grew more and more and more. Once you allow the matter to act like that, this matter sits on our top. We are powerless people. It's the matter that becomes powerful because it rules us completely. We can't do without this, we can't do without that, we can't do without that. And then we become complete slaves of matter. Matter sits so much upon us that we get completely blinded to what our purpose is to be on this earth. And start crawling like worms under the pressure of matter. What is this? Is nothing but stones, bricks. Everything is matter. What is the importance of this? There is nothing except we have to have a seminar. If we don't have the seminar, if we are not going to do anything sensible to create harmony and understanding, no use having all this. This is what has to be realized, that matter has its own purpose and as Sahaja Yogis we are not going to be ruled by matter. It's very difficult to decide because from our childhood we are taught, be careful, don't touch this, don't touch that, as if that is the God, don't spoil it. So the whole attention gets engulfed into this gross existence of matter. So the person starts moving from his ascent to his descent. From matter you became carbon, from carbon you become amino acids, 
from amino acids you be became living things from living things you became human beings and now you have to become sajogis but the attention starts moving downwards towards matter and we acquire all the qualities that is matter except for one which only we can give that power to matter that it can express our love you become static you become unchangeable and when you start using this matter for a lower end than this then you hurt same matter starts evolving into things like weapons first must be the stone they must be eating it then the clubs of stones then came the swords then came the guns then came atomic energy so the same matter has gone into evolution into another direction but matter could have been moved into a higher direction if we had seen the quality of matter to give joy then we did that for quite some time we made beautiful carvings beautiful churches and temples beautiful paintings beautiful statues i think it ended up in america when they made a statue of liberty after that it took another form now if you see the women of america you will understand that it has no resemblance with that of the statue of liberty i mean even to have a model you will have to import some from somewhere else to make a model to create that statue that dignity that presence that motherly feel that she has the protection she gives with her strength everybody is tired like that everybody is absolutely a dainty darling they do not want to take any responsibilities put the responsibility onto somebody else here stands the symbol of such great protection of a woman to man on the contrary the same protection today has become a domination of men instead of men becoming men they have becoming cabbages here is the other way now things have moved i find it very hard to believe that the same time we had people like abraham lincoln now i don't think we can produce anyone like this where are those mothers who created abraham lincoln where are those great women who sacrificed everything for their children to give them such greatness george washington fought uh, the whole <coughs> time all his life with such a strong wife he had but here now the women have become nothing but matter they think that <coughs> by wearing such and such dress or going to a hairdresser cutting all their hair in a funny way they become powerful 
Why I'm talking about women today? Because we are talking of Vishnu Maya, but not to hurt you, because in this men are very much responsible. Let us see, see the point, where we are going. The whole society is ruined today, if you see. You feel terrible when you see how things are happening in this country. The children are shooting everyone, small little children are shooting. On the road if you go, everybody is panicked. Why it has happened to us? Where well, you have created such great heroes in this country and now you cannot create any hero. What has gone wrong where? I know they have made a mess, these men have made a mess of all this politics and everything that they call manly, so-called. But Vishnu Maya is the power of a woman. She is the power of a woman and they say that American women are very, very powerful. Uh, where does the power lie? The power lies how many men you can divorce and have how much money with you. How many people you can divorce and have under the law so much money? That's not. That's not the power of a woman. One has to understand where have we lost our power. The power of a woman is not enslaving for men that they should appreciate you morning till evening every person on the road must look at you. That's not the power of a woman. That could be the power of a prostitute, but not of a woman who stands as a symbol of liberty. The power of woman is like that of the Mother Earth. See how much she's done for you. She's given you all the greenery, the beauty. Wherever she goes down, she fills herself with water and she gives you such joy and happiness and bears all the problems of the world. Despite of whatever things we have done to her, despite the way we have extracted all her wealth and everything, still she's giving us. That's what we are. When we have lost our power, our society has come down. The society has to be maintained by women, not by men. One must understand, woman plays the most important role. She is in no way less than man. But if she becomes this kind of a power, destruction starts moving in the other direction. The whole topsy turviness we have to correct in Sahaja Yoga. When I see the image of Sahaja Yoga, when I see when we all will be together, where we will be all enjoying ourselves, I want to see my women, my daughters, to be the symbol of love and symbol of sacrifice and symbol of understanding. And then the dynamism of this sacrifice will be shown because they are potential. You are the ones, you are the ones who are really potential and you have to give them energy to be kind. Those who cannot have potential energies have become potential. What's the use? while those who have the potential energy have become kinetic, what's the use? This has to shift now. We have to think about it and understand. We've gone wrong, really we've gone wrong somewhere, and this wrong, our children will have to pay, their children will have to pay, the whole nation will have to pay. Turn your attention to something very noble. This is the power of Vishnu Maya because Vishnu Maya is the one who was the sister of Sri Krishna. She came as Sri Krishna's sister. Of course, she is the virgin. She was born as the sister of Sri Krishna. Now see, this story is very interesting. If you see the story, then you'll understand what I'm trying to tell you. The story is like this. The Eighth incarnation, as they call it, or according to Sahaja Yoga, we call him the king of the Vishuddhi Chakra. Sri Krishna was to be born. He was born in a uh, 
jail. His parents were in the jail. So, Vishnu Maya at the same time took birth in a village called as Nandagram, where another friend called Nanda was living and his wife was Yashoda. She took her birth in that family. Now, then she was a very, very powerful child. When Sri Krishna was born, he was carried by the father from the jail because of Sri Krishna's powers, all his shackles, all his chains were broken, the doors opened and he waded through the river Jamuna and carried the child and gave it to Nanda. Nanda said, I have got a child but she is a girl. About the same time. So see the power that time this little child gave to Mother Yashoda. They said, All right, do one thing. Take this child with you and replace it with Sri Krishna. What a sacrifice for a woman to give her own child at that time, a little babe, to be killed by this horrible fellow cancer. No mother would do such a thing. Can you think of any mother who will give her child to be killed for the replacement of Sri Krishna? We cannot think of any mother, but we had some mothers like this in India who did very great sacrifices. Now this was the greatest sacrifice one could think of for a woman. She may sacrifice small little things or quite a lot of things, but to sacrifice your own child is the greatest thing. The woman sacrifices for her children quite a lot. She works for them, uh, she keeps nights and nights vigil for them. She does so much for her children. But to give up her own child is something such an extraordinary thing, which she did. And when he brought the child, that child was the power, was the Adi Shakti, in the form of a virgin, and was kept back. So when this Kansa came in the morning and he heard a little girl is born, he was amazed. It, used, it was going to be a son. How is it a girl is born? Whatever it is, he said, I'll destroy this child. Got hold of that child and he was about to hit the child on the ground when she slipped out and went into the sky and lightning to announce that the one who was to destroy is still alive. He was shocked. So behind all this, what we see a character of Yashoda, who was so sacrificed, of the father, who was so sacrificed, of a society where it was important to preserve the incarnation above everything else. And this kind of happening, when it took place, Sri Krishna grew up in the house of Nand, where he then expressed himself as a powerful personality. But this Vishnu Maya is there 
and she is very active these days, extremely active. She is the one which is within you, very much there. In the left Vishuddhi, she sits there. She doesn't allow you to make feel guilty. Why are you guilty? All the time she says, why are you guilty? Why are you unhappy? You are realized source, you are Sahaja Yogis, get out of it. This guilty business is no good, get out of it. Come along, you have to fight the way. Yes. The destruction is ahead of you. You see the destruction of this great country, you see so clearly. It's working out. I feel there are two girls which are now building up, one that is getting destroyed, one that is coming out of it like a lotus. But behind is the power of Vishnu Maya. Is the power of Vishnu Maya the power of sister of Sri Krishna? Now this Vishnu Maya is a female power as you know that she didn't care for anything mundane. Can you think of Vishnu Maya going after all these nonsensical things? And to protect her brothers and to give all the strength to those brothers. What did she do? What did she do? She came in her purest form as a sister. You all have, here so many Sahaja Yogis as your brothers, must be having other people also as your brothers. This purity has to be brought into women. Unless a little this purity comes into them, they have no powers, they are powerless. So we come down, the main thing is that where the women are pure and chaste, there resides the powers of all the deities. So it's such a responsibility for us to be very chaste and to be very pure and to be sisters to our brothers so that their brothers are also protected from the temptations of the world, so that they too have their attention onto something higher and greater. It's a very, very great day, I feel, to come down to America to do this puja. I'm going to tell you all about it, but let us understand that we are power, we are power. We are not the power which can be dominated by money, by anything else. We are power because we are our Sahaja Yoginis, because we have that character. Now it's important for men to understand the value of women. Those men in this country, all right, they look like cabbages, but they can be horrid, absolutely horrid people, because they have no sense of purity of their character. If the man is not all right, how can he have a sister who is pure? If the man doesn't believe in the chastity of life, for some men, I mean most of the men, there's nothing like chastity. They never believed in anything like chastity in the modern times. That is what we lack. And in Sahaja Yoga, when I think of my children, of my sons, they should be brilliant with chastity. The whole presence must shine with chastity. When people look at them, they should say, oh, that's innocence going. See the innocence and the chastity moving together. So that's what is in men, the innocence. is not necessary to be too cunning. Nobody can deceive you. An innocent person with one stroke can kill hundred useless people. So it is important that men must also understand the value of innocence. She was Krishna's sister. 
All right. Now look at Sri Krishna as a child. How innocent he was, and how powerful. He wanted to eat the butter. Now, why he wanted to eat the butter? Because all the butter that was made in Gokul, in that place, was sent to Mathura, where this horrible king Kamsa was ruling, and all his uh, military people became very strong by eating that butter. So he didn't want them to eat the butter. So he started a a a kind of a tribe of small children and a game that they climb on top of each other and the butter was kept in a, a pot hanging from the roof. So they would go and eat all that. In that little childhood he started this innocent play. So all the children used to climb up and eat the butter so now there's no butter left, so how will they take it to Mathura? This was done and one day his mother caught hold of him. She said, did you eat any butter from here? All butter was here all over. He says, how? How can I eat the butter? See, can I reach my hand there? See now. How can I eat? Oh, so you took the stick and broke it. No, no. I did not. Then what is all this? See, these are all my friends who ate it. I put it on my mouth so that you can beat me. So innocently talking like an ordinary child to his mother, an ordinary simple child. So mother said, all right, let me see your mouth. He opens the mouth and she is the complete, she sees the complete universe, complete universe revolving into his mouth and she sees it. She says, Oh Lord, please forgive me. I forgot, I really forgot that you are the Lord of this universe and I am doubting you. She just fell at his feet. There must be some play in what you are doing. In a simple innocent way, like a child would say, uh, he told the mother. So the innocence of a child and the innocence of a virgin, or you can say the chastity of a virgin and innocence of a child, brought forth, brought forth the existence of America. Out of that this country was created. So you can Imagine that this great country has now see everywhere the beauty. I mean, every place you go to, you find such greenery. I went to Los Angeles, it's a desert, but still you could get water and you can make it into a beautiful place. You have everything that a a human being can ask for, but there's something lacking, is not to understand why it was given to us, how it was given to us. As I told you, it was created out of that innocence and chastity. And if we cannot think of that chastity and that innocence, then we can never mature into sensible, proper surgeries. There's nothing to feel hurt when somebody tells you that, see, this is what we are. Basically, that's what we are. And that's how fundamentally we should understand and grow into a personality that is American. But what one finds is all the instruments of destruction are created. Like small children, I mean, you find children and children. Small children, you'll find them, they fight each other. All right, fights is all right. But not only that, they kill their parents, they kill their grandparents. 
What's that going on? How is it happening? Where have we lost the innocence? What's gone wrong? Where are we mistaken? We have to just turn around. If you really feel you are Americans, you have to save this country. It's in great danger of complete destruction. You do not realize what you are facing. It's not the AIDS I am so much worried about or it's not the earthquake which is hanging on them. It is complete losing of your being and becoming matter. When you have robots, you will become same. And you will destroy yourself in that way. It's a very, very serious matter which is not yet seen through your eyes or you do not see it. You must really be praying that, Oh God, please save this country. You should be really asking for nothing else but save this great country, a part and parcel of the Virat and the Virata rules in the Vishuddhi. It's such a problem for me. Whole thing is so upside down. I have to start from America. And where do I go? I started from America. I came here, as I told you, talking to chairs. And still so many are just chairs. All the subtleties from the brain have gone away. Whatever advancement has been made has made them primitive. And after some time they will become like stones. They won't feel anything. They won't hear anything. They won't understand anything. They will not grow anymore. Then what am I to do? This universe which was created as the working of the Virat will have to shift to some other style of universe which is a very big shifting. So for all the Sahaja Yogis it is necessary to understand the importance of their existence as Sahaja Yogis. They are Sahaja Yogis first and Americans later but if they are Americans first then they must work it out. It's not something sideways. You see, all right, there's a seminar, let's go for the seminar, good, then come back home again just the same. You have to really meditate, work very hard. You are the people who are going to change this country and ultimately the whole of the universe. So you have to understand it. It's not me. You have to see it and understand that your position is very important. In Sahaja Yoga, Americans have a very great position. Remember in the beginning we paid everything to the, for these Americans to come down to India. They were treated with such uh, lavishness and everybody was saying, Mother, why are you paying for their fares? Why are you paying for their food? Why do you want them to be so treated? What's so great about Americans? Again they'll develop ego. I said, you don't know. Of course all those are lost now. I don't see them anywhere. But whatever it is, my desire, my anxiety, my concern has worked. I'm very happy you all are here. I could come here for the Vishnu, Pu Vishnu Maya Puja. It's something I hope we should work it out. I don't know how far we have gone now. In the subtler way, I think Ganesha Puja has helped a lot. And I can see the two worlds coming up very clearly. One which is living, which is pulsating, which is full of vibrations, which is becoming the lotus. The another one which is becoming the worm, the mud, the mire. I see it so clearly separated by this Ganesha Puja. 
Now by this Vishnu Puja, let us see if we become those dynamic, loving, affectionate, compassionate Sajogis and pure relationships with each other. So that people see you as something very great, like the lightning, they should see you shining in the sky and they should then come down to Sajo and come up to the expectations of Shri Krishna. May God bless. Nishapta Dhan mein bhaitte hai. परम पूज्य श्री माता जी आपकी परम कृपा में हम सब एक प्रतिभाशाली व्यक्तिमत्व बन जाए श्री माता जी आपकी परम कृपा में हम सब आपके श्री विराट स्वरूप के अंग प्रत्यंग बन जाए अपनी ध्यान धारणा और सामूहिक कार्य की तपश्चर्या से हम श्री आदि शक्ति के एक प्रभावी और प्रभावशाली माध्यम बन जाएं परम पूजा श्री माता जी 
आज का यह सामूहिक ध्यान हम आपके श्री चरणों पर समर्पित करते हैं कृपावंत होकर हम सबको और इस संपूर्ण विश्व को आशीर्वादित कीजिए शुभ माँ को प्रणाम करेंगे और सामूहिकता में कुंडलिनी चढ़ाकर बंधन लेंगे आज का यह ध्यान केंद्र यही संपन्न होता है जय श्री माता जी